Hey guys, welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. I'm the odd one and today we are doing a fun little sneaky video. Um, not gonna lie, I saw a pretty pastel please do this and I loved it. <laughs> but she colored and cut her hair while her husband was at work. I do not have a husband, I have a boyfriend. You all know him. He's already. He's on this channel a bunch. But he has a long day at work today. So, my hair um, is definitely in need of getting that blue put on it again. Because, well, you would never know that there is blue on top of this. However, not going to lie, I do love this blonde. <laughs> I am loving it. But, um, roots are a little bit too noticeable being this blonde, so I've let it play out as long as I can. I believe the first time we colored my hair this blue and purple was back in September. It is now December 5th, and um, purple's still in there. It's just faded to a lighter color. Highly recommend this purple. It was called Purple Rain when I bought it. Now it is labeled as Purple AF. If you're interested, it's from Arctic Fox. Um, not a sponsor, just loved it. Plus, their hair color smells like grape, which is amazing. I had to take it up to my parents while I was up there and uh, let them smell it because so good. <laughs> but anyway, I also need to cut my hair. So on top of putting the blue back in, um, we are going to cut it. I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I did do the TikTok version of the wolf cut once before, which is the one ponytail on top of your head, cut, take it down, cut, take it down, cut. Um, I did do that. That's currently what's what my hair is like now. Um, just, I guess I went kind of safe with it because there's not many layers. It's all still pretty long. However, at the time it did get my dead ends off. So cool. <laughs> But I am due for another haircut, and I figured, why not follow the same one that Pretty Pastel did? Pretty Pastel. Pretty Pastel Please did, or Alex, if you know her as that. I don't personally know her, so I feel kind of weird calling her Alex. Um, but she tried... Oh, geez, I'm going to forget the name. I think it's Paul Watt? Yeah, so it's Paul Watt's hair is who she followed. I'm going to be taking the same technique today. We're going to try to get a bit of a bang on here. But yeah, that's the plan for today. I am first going to brush and straighten my hair so that I can get the hair color through. You guys don't need to watch that. Um, and I'm going to have a coffee because literally just woke up and took Ordy to work. So, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to wake up a little. But I thought I'd let you guys know. What the plan is for today so that I don't just jump into dyeing my hair and be like surprise <laughs> but yes this is the before of my hair boop, 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 boop. this is just after sleeping it gets a little a little curly I'm hoping to not cover the purple but I am doing this by myself so I can't make any promises to myself. However, if the rest of my hair is any um, any sign of how the purple will do, as soon as the blue fades, the purple should be there again. I'm interested to see what we turn out with. This, honestly, I think I've said it before, my favorite thing about coloring and cutting my hair is just, just going with it, feeling it out. It's hair, it grows back. So who cares if it gets messed up in the meantime? Um, and yeah, right now it is it's 10. And uh, I think he's done at 3. So let's go. Okay, so I got excited and I colored my hair without filming it. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I put my, my purple into these little buns. This one unfortunately got some blue in it so we're gonna see how that tie-dyedness turns out 
but here we go. Hair is hopefully totally covered. I can't see the back of it. <laughs> hopefully it's all covered. I am in a terrible bra and a terrible shirt so that they could get covered. But in the fashion of using Pretty Pastel Please as inspiration, I am now gonna catch up on her last three videos um, while this sits and absorbs. The house is pretty hot, so that should hopefully help. Usually I wrap it, but I don't know. I think, I think, I think we're good. Um, also in the fashion of Pretty Pastel, please. I don't know how many times I'm going to say her channel, but check her out. I love her. Um, but in true fashion of her, I just went in with gloves and my hands and just got it all in there. Um, Ordi does that for his hair. She does it for her hair. Arctic Fox turned out really good for them doing that. So usually I use like a little hair color brush to put mine in, but hey, I'm alone. I'm not putting it up in foils. I'm not saran wrapping it. So I figured, why not? Why the hell not? <laughs> um, but yes, I will include you guys for the haircut because that's going to be, it's going to be iffy. I haven't cut my hair in a long, well not, I shouldn't say I haven't cut my hair in a long time. I've cut my hair. I haven't done something kind of drastic with it in a long time. So yeah. And Jeremy or Ordy, I'm going to switch between calling him Jeremy and Ordy. Same person. <laughs> I don't have two boyfriends. Um, but he's never seen me with bangs. So that'll be fun. And yeah, you guys won't have to see all this shine all the time. So yeah, doing you guys a favor. <laughs> I noticed in my last couple Sims videos when I got my hair up in a bun, you could like, you know, I mean, right now you can just see it too. You can almost see the ring light in my forehead. I mean, I know I'm like a sweaty, oily person, but my goodness. <laughs> so we'll just, we'll just cover that up for you guys. All right, see you when I'm cutting my hair. Actually, no, not when I'm cutting my hair. I'll see you guys when I wash this out and dry it. No point showing you when it's just washed out because it'll look like this, just down. Okay, we are colored and my dog's gonna nest now. That's cute. So if you hear it jingling, that's Barney nesting. <laughs> hair is colored. It does not love my hair. This is Poseidon. This is Poseidon by Arctic Fox. And I've seen it turn out so nice on other people's hair. On me, it's really patchy. Um, I did just go take um, Jeremy something at work because he is working after hours tonight to do some kitchen cleaning at the place he works. So he required a, um, a radio so he could play a Spotify through it because, well, that's going to be boring, long, and gross. <laughs> um, and we took the dog for, well, I took the dog for a walk, which is why my hair is a little, a little fuzzy and starting to curl now. Um, it's kind of funny, like, some spots, it looks like it turned out kind of, like, purpley, um, which is interesting, to say the least. Uh -huh. But yeah, I've still got my purple underneath there. Um, but anyway, Jeremy did see the blue color. He knew I was putting the blue in my hair today. And he knows I'm cutting my hair today, but he doesn't know how. So that's kind of the surprise. But he did say he'd touch up the color for me tomorrow. Um, see if we get it to take a little better. Although we tried that last time too, and it didn't. So whatever. Um, this purple loves me though. And I think it's trying to tell me to just go all purple. So <laughs> purple may be my next hair color, although I really do want to try their bright bright reds. Um, I think that'd be really fun. But anyway, let's get to cutting my hair. Um, Cause yeah, oh, I didn't, that's what I meant to grab while I was in there, hair ties. Let's, um, I'm gonna turn on my computer and have uh, Paul Watts hairs, Paul Watts hair, the video. 
playing on my computer for me so I can see exactly where to section this off. I believe I basically need a unicorn horn and then a horn crownish area. Um, but let me pull that up and then we'll split this hair up. <laughs> okay, so it looks like from just in front of the ears up to my crown. Oops, if I can find my other finger in here. That doesn't seem right. It seems like too little hair. <laughs> I don't know, my hair just might be really thin up front. Because <laughs> I feel like that line is right. Looks like I've got a headband on. Does that look good? Perfect. Unicorn horn. <laughs> Okay, and the rest just goes up to like a high pony, kind of at the line. Ta-da, do I? Um, hello. <laughs> like a troll doll. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna pause and see what we do next. <sighs> okay, so we are going to grab this. We are going to kind of brush it all forward. We are going to, as he said, over direct it. Um, I'm gonna pull it down to about mid nose here. Just cause we can, we can get it shorter after. Um, but yes, I'm going to go in with some big old scissors. I also have little ones um, for cutting into it after. But yes, let's, uh, I didn't think about this as far as like mess. So that's great. At least I still need a vacuum. <laughs> All right. So we're going to try to bring it about mid nose here. Is he just chopping across? It's just chopped. Into there. I was chopping into it. Okay, let's use the little scissors. All right, buy that much hair. All right, I'm gonna do the big guys a little here cause they just got a little more stay power in them. Oh, my dead ends should definitely be gone. Oh boy, that's... That's a lot of hair right there. Um, let me just check in on the video. All right, so he goes in and, oh, there's still more hair falling. Um, goes in and brushes it back out. Make sure everything's, ow, it dropped right into my eyes. I'm probably gonna need it shorter. <laughs> and he just goes back a little so he can point cut back into it here. While still over directing and leaning over the table. Can't forget to lean over the table. My shirt is so covered in hair. <laughs> All right, let's check in with him. I can't, uh, the ponytail's not letting it stay out of my way. All right, so he continues to pull his hands back and then do deep cuts into this to soften it. I thought I wasn't recording for a second. So let's do deep cut, deep cut, deep cut, deep cut. <laughs> I 
There you go. That's how I look with a very thick fringe. <laughs> if my fringe started all the way up here, oh my god, can you imagine? Like I said, it, it definitely would have taken my dead ends off. <laughs> my poor, look at my hands too, because it's like fresh dye. It's another thing with the blue. It takes a few, few um, times to get it all out. Definitely got some guys that I don't like in there, but let's uh, continue watching what we do. Okay, so next I am taking the back pony and we are pulling it up. My hair's like a peacock right now. <laughs> And we are going to, whoop, um, yeah, cut some of this off. Where would my dead ends go to? All right, so I'm going to take it to about <laughs> there. That'd be my shortest length. I think that's good. And we're just going to go in and point cut this, all of this away two. <laughs> All right. We're going to try to not um, hurt ourselves, which will be the hardest part. <laughs> also going to try to do this in a way that, um, can I clip this to the side? I wonder. Let me clip this to the side so I can try to see what I'm doing. <laughs> If I lean down. Alright, so hair up, over directed. And we want this to be like, oops. Alright, I'm gonna flop it forward though. <laughs> My god. Excuse me while I just cut my fingers off. <laughs> you can't. How does one do this? How did big chunk of hair just fall? <laughs> I'm holding it the wrong way again. I need to be able to see it. That's a cute pony. <laughs> I don't know if that way, like hanging it forward after I direct it is going to ruin, well not ruin, but change the effect of the haircut. Um, but cutting it myself, that's kind of how I have to do it. And I mean, when, um, when Paul Watts here reacted to, um, to Alex cutting her hair, pretty pastel, please. He, he was verifying that he did make this video for hairdressers to follow, not as like a do it yourself. Um, Sorry, I'm just gathering up some of the hair here. Um, so let's see what he does next. Okay, so just like the bangs, we are pulling it back up and going about an inch under where we wanted it just to deep cut into. So, in my hair land here. <laughs> my peacock hair is what I'm officially calling it. We are going to about there and we'll cut into that to lighten, um, lighten it. I don't know.
I'm gonna have hair falling everywhere for the next while. <laughs> oh my goodness, my shirt. I should have changed out of my, <laughs> my everyday lounge clothes. I hate when I forget to change out of them when I cut the dog because, I don't know, the hair can be really sharp. Oh my goodness, look how short this is. It's a ponytail. I am not concerned because, like I said, hair is hair. It'll grow back. Um, but yeah, that should definitely be all my dead ends. Let's see what else is happening in Sir Paul Watts' video. <laughs> All right, all we need to do is uh, let it down now. Let me just gather and show you all the hair that has come off my head. Mind you, it's all like my dead split ends, which is good. I haven't done a heavy cut in a while because even with the last like straight off of TikTok wolf cut that I did. Um, I did it pretty short. Look at all that, look at all that. All right, let's uh, take this down and see what's happening. <laughs> All right, we still got some good length. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, one side's longer than the other, that's okay. We can fix that. Do I have layers and texture? Seems like it though. I love layers. I've always, when I go to the hairdresser, which I haven't done in years, I always ask for layers. They do seem longer. I probably could have gone shorter with it, but either way, my hair definitely feels lighter. All right, let's take this front bit down, see what's happening. Oh, I got this one really tight. It's so, <laughs> I had it so tight that it's just like, doesn't want to play. Oh yeah, definitely could have gone shorter. <laughs> but look at that. Ooh, girl. All right. Cool. Let's see if I can take this um, a little shorter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I got it a little shorter and a little more thinned out. I haven't styled it, so this piece is sticking up. But <laughs> we got it a little more textured in the bangs there. Um, I just started grabbing pieces and putting my fingers on an angle um kind of from like the midpoint here and just started ch -ch 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 -ch, point cutting in at the angle and we got it just this bit more bit more textured and lighter um we can still swoop it off to the side if we don't feel like dealing with bangs um but yeah i am happy with how it turned out. I might try to thin it a little more um, once I straighten it, cause it is still a little long, but I don't know. I kind of, I kind of like it like this cause it is, it's still just bouncy and my hair does tend to curl. So if I do it shorter and it curls, it's gonna be higher. Oh, there's still little bits of, Still little bits of hair falling out of the cut. But yeah, this is my 
my wolf cut. <laughs> Still wear it up, still have it down. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, obviously I can't change it for you. I can't put the hair back on, but now my hair, my little hairball here, I need two hands to hold it. Uh, my hands are a little tinted from, like I said, the fresh color. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button and follow. I got a street. I got to style that. It just keeps popping up. Um, but yeah, smash that like button. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And turn on notifications so you always know when I'm posting. Uh, big shout out to Pretty Pastel Please uh, for letting me know this video existed. And when I say letting me know, for just, that just means for her making that video, or else I would have never seen it. And big shout out to Paul Watts Hair for putting up the tutorial. And yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Let me know. Like, do you like the hair color? Do you think it needed to have more layers? Um, do you like me with a fringe, with bangs? Do you call it friends or bangs? Where are you from? Let me know everything. Talk to me. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.